Janelle. Welcome to Atlanta Custom Interiors. Oh my God, it's great to be here. Oh my. Oh, this is great. How long have you been here? I've been here for four years. Before that, out of your home? Yes, I was in my home. Started in 2008. Come on, Janelle, let me show you around. Front desk? <laughs> Front desk. Oh, you have a sign-in sheet. Yes. You guys are so this is clearly a retail location. I am retail and wholesale. Oh, okay. So I work with retail customers and designers. I have two sales assistants that work at the desk, as well as myself. I have a seamstress, I have an upholsterer, and I have a part-time uh, seamstress that works with the upholsterer making cushions and that sort of thing. I bought an existing business. Oh, and I when I, that. I had my business at home, but I bought an existing workroom and I had to move it when I bought it. So I went from buying the workroom with 4,000 square feet to 2,300. Oh. So we downsized mm -hmm. significantly. But I upsized from my, my workroom out of my home. Mm -hmm. So we have no space that is like not, not storage used. and not something. Awesome. So what's going on over here? This is where we try to start our consultations. I do my business a little differently than some others because I do have a retail space in that if they want an estimate, I want them to take some basic measurements, take some pictures, come in here, meet with us, mm -hmm. do the consultation here, give them an estimate. When they're ready to move forward, we collect a deposit, and then I go measure. Ah, interesting. Yeah, so, and because I have the space, it makes sense to start here. Here's, right. This is and the where, travel's so costly to you, to leave the business yes. in the middle of the day that you're and, managing. Right. Right, to do that. And so I have, you know, the hardware here. Mm -hmm. I have the fabric books here. I have everything. And samples to show All them. All my samples right. to show them mm -hmm. so they can see what they want, pick it out, and then we move forward from there. This is how they quote without me. Ah, um, nice. This so you has, don't have to be involved in every single sale. No. Mm-hmm. No. I'm involved in most of the window treatment sales, mm -hmm. but the upholstery, they can flip Find if someone page. comes in for a club chair. There's a club chair and a wing chair page. They can see a picture of what it looks like. How many yards of fabric? How many yards of fabric? Needed. How yes. much it costs? If Wonderful. it has a waterfall skirt, they're going to add a percentage to that. All right, what do you have over here? So over here again is still part of kind of the design center. We have different samples of pillow forms we can show them so they can pick out whether they want feather down or if they want poly and we cut lining and inner lining on this table. It's slippery. And we have one inch one lines drawn. Great. Oh nice lining rack. There's not much storage because we're using the space. Right. We're fabricating. You're not, you're not hiding anything. We're not in hiding the anything. Room. And the customers love it. Yeah. Because we're all here. When they come in and they say you make everything here, we say yes. <laughs> Here you are. Here we are. And they see the my seamstress and my upholsterer, you know, fabricating if they're here during the week. I imagine that really works for you. You know, it's, it's really, really interesting. Uh, yeah. And and for the type of, maybe the type of customer that um, you want to work with mm -hmm. is really energized by kind of seeing the action. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they love it. Yeah. Especially it's, if they get to come in and see their own project on the table. Mm -hmm. That's even more exciting. Is that nerve-wracking for you? Um, it was in the beginning, mm -hmm. but not now. Is this a fabric check-in area? Yes. So when we've sold a project and fabric comes in, whether it's from a designer or from a retail customer, the fabric, hardware, whatever comes in comes into this bin, sometimes beside it because mm -hmm. it overflows, <laughs> um, gets checked in. As you can see, this has my name on it. Oh, nice. I'm in the production queue. Has this been sitting here forever? <laughs> um, at least a month. Okay. <laughs> Nothing gets done for my house, but that's okay. This check-in process, is it the responsibility of one employee, or is it a sales thing? or The sales thing? assistants and myself, uh -huh. we do this. Check we in. check this in. Do you inspect? Yes. We do. Or just check in? Most of the time, we check it in, and as the particular sections get to it and start to work on Each it. Each section does the inspection They do the themselves? inspections, yes. Interesting. I've Before never seen anything. an upholstered, fully upholstered check-in <laughs> stand. I inherited this, and I really need to recover it. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this? <laughs> this? Never seen so many rolls of batting. <laughs> this is where all of the upholstery pieces 
that are going to be upholstered go, or the cushions, mm -hmm. um, as it comes in, it also gets checked in. You can see it gets, again, names put on it mm -hmm. to which customer it goes to, and then the supplies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as you know, upholstery supplies are big. Yes. And the rolls of Dacron and the foam. We have four headboards and three ottomans coming up in the next two weeks. I'm curious with the uh, with the upholsterer, um, who's, uh, who's an employee. Am I correct? He is. Yes. yes. The upholsterer that came with the business when I bought it, Fernando, he went back to Panama to take care of his elderly mother. Oh. So before he left, he brought me Benjamin. Oh, wonderful. How and are trained and yes. yes. Okay. Benjamin has done upholstery work for 30 some wow. hours. And nice. he is amazing. Mm -hmm. Upholstery workspace? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is where Benjamin um, does his work here and he works on this table as well. Um, his wife is my part-time person and she comes in and does all the cushions and pillows and she works with him back here in this space. So here's a work order. This is the project he's going to do next mm -hmm. and it's it's got this is the actual piece. Oh. This is going to be the ottoman he's going to do and as you can wow. see it's just a frame. Mm -hmm. There's a picture back here. And this is the fabric. And this is, is the fabric, and it's got the same name on it that matches the work order. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a, a little swatch here. That's there's very... a swatch here, and the swatch is going horizontal, so mm. he knows the fabric is supposed to go horizontal. So over here, we just have more upholstery supplies. We have foam, which really needs to be organized. We have lots of um, feet and legs Good. that we can use for furniture. Sometimes people want us to cut their legs off of furniture and put um, swivels on them. So these are legs we've cut off and we will add a swivel attachment to a club chair. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting to reinvent furniture as we reupholster it. Right, right. So if we keep going this way, you can go, there's more supplies here. Soft treatment and upholstery use these. And then my office, which there's not a whole lot of stuff in here other than files. On the wall, my award that I won, my husband had that framed for me. Red. Red. I completed panels? Well, sort of. Some are completed and fan folded, ready for inspection and bagging. Um, and then these are still in process. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to know, now that the business in this space is four years old, you bought the other business yes. and you now have how many employees? Five. Five employees. Yes. Um, how much fabricating do you get to do? <laughs> Zero. And is that, how do you feel about that? Um, do you miss it? or I or do miss that... it. Uh, I have an outlet. So I sew with kids now. I mm -hmm. teach kids how to sew. So, you're so I kind of get that little, you know. Tactile experience. Yes. The reason why you got into this in the first place. Exactly. Mm -hmm when I'm teaching the kids. Mm -hmm. Now, my seamstress is going on vacation for two weeks. Um, so you might be needing to jump in. I might have to jump in and, you know, at least help keep things moving. Mm -hmm. it looks like a ripple fold project. Yes, this is a ripple fold project for UGA. These are double-sided. Um, oh, so uh, self-lined. Self-lined. Uh -huh. And we kind of got a surprise when the length of them worked out that the fabric was 118 inches so we were able to just fold it in half and not have to cut it and try to pattern match you know the the sections together boy usually those sorts of surprises are unlucky yes <laughs> yes we were doing the happy dance last week this is a bay window and it's going to have this I just cut these so it's going to have the greek key as the straps Beautiful. that hold it up for a breakfast room. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty. Very nice. Sandy's work orders go here, so you can see her stack mm -hmm. is under here, so she knows what she's got coming up back behind. Great. Nice cart for your iron and tools. Yes. Then the jobs. So this is the completed table. As things are completed, of course there's processes and procedures. Again, they come up here, they get names put on them. 
I was noticing too all of the beautiful samples all around the perimeter. Thank you. And so great yes. sales tools, obviously. Great sales tools to just let them see what the options are. Mm -hmm. and, and they can be very simple, like the box pleat balance, or they can be very ornate, like the you know swags over there. This sofa is complete. We put signs on it, so oh, that's a thing there, right. customers won't come in and sit on it because it's brand new now. Absolutely gorgeous. So impressed. Uh, oh, look at all the beautiful header styles. Oh, yes. All yes. the yes. And pleat styles. Stacy, I am um, honored and tickled uh, to be here today Thank and you. to see your space. Thank I, you. I, I'm it keeps quite me busy. Impressed. keeps me out of trouble. I bet. Mm -hmm.